Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day Gamers, and welcome. So today we're in the world of Medieval Engineers once again, and I thought I would show you off some of my quite interesting minecart. It works on a very simple concept, and I was thinking later on in survival, logistics is going to be a really big part, hauling all that ore, the raw materials from the forest, up to a castle, especially if you decide to build a castle up there, somewhere like that, you're just making logistics a hell of a lot harder. So we're gonna have to get the ore out of a mine, we could strip mine this mine, you see how we've already gone off one tunnel that way, you could mine off in this way, get all sorts of different ores that might be available in the future to you, and you could just return to the cart that I've actually got on the rails here. Now I've only set the cart up for a one-way system at the moment, and this is just purely a test. I tried to go with a cart with wheels, but it didn't end too well. So the idea of this is we'll pull this cart through here, we could use it to stop at any of these intervals, do a bit of mining, we could also use it to haul logs and all sorts of different things through here. And I've also added it one more level up, we've actually got a crane that's going to lift this said cart up through this tunnel, into this area, and into the actual castle itself. Now if everything goes well, it should work, and I'll explain the concept as I go through it. So to start out with this test, we're going to try hauling some basic logs up and down the track and we'll move it to the winch area and see how well it actually works. I've only tested this once before, so hopefully everything will go well. So let's get to the winch system and begin using the pulley. So as we crank that, it seems like it's moving along quite fast, quite efficiently as well. Oops, looks like we've lost one log, probably because of my fault because we stopped it a little bit too fast, but let's pull it along and just see if we've managed to keep any of the logs inside. <laughs> it looks like we've only managed to keep two. Is it two or one? No, we've got some logs in the bottom part as well. Yeah, we've got two logs managed to stay in the bottom, and we've managed to keep one on top. We just have to increase maybe the depth of the bucket so we can store more in it at a time. So anyway, let's unhook this, and we'll hook it up to the crane. So I've actually hooked the minecart now up to the hoist above. I've reloaded it with some logs just to see how effective it is at keeping them in the cart. We didn't have to extend the bucket of that thing most definitely so we can get more supplies in there to hoist them up to the castle. Maybe make it a little bit larger or make the whole shaft in general a little bit larger. Now the crane system is quite simple. We have here is the down lever so rotating this to the left turns it down and we'll lower the cart. Rotating this one to the right will raise the cart and these little cogs over here are using a rope-based pulley system. Something that I discovered on the workshop, and I think it's, it's a great little creative idea. It's a, it's a solid piece of medieval technology, something that would be used around the time period. And what we've actually got is the ropes working, linking together that solid piece of rope. As that rotates, it pulls that one in synchronization, synchronizing all the rope drums together, making a perfect level sort of pull-up for the actual cart below. So let's bring this thing up and just see how we can do. We'll go into third person so we don't have too much shaky action. You see how all the rope drums are actually synchronized together with that system itself. You see the ropes actually starting to pull up. And if we look down the shaft, we might be able to see the actual cart coming up. Yeah, there we go. And it looks like we've not lost any logs. Just look at the smoothness of that sort of pulley system though. And we'll bring that up to the area about here. I don't want to bring it all the way because if you bring it a little bit too far, it's going to snap on the actual door and not work too well at all. So as we brought it up here, we can offload our logs and so on, move them into there, burn them as fire, or continue building our construction over there, for instance. And then once we're done, we can actually lower it back down. So let's lower it back down and get over to the pulley system. And yeah, that's going back down nice and smooth. Lower that back down into the area below. And that should line up perfectly with the actual tracks below, so it's easy to be just pulled straight out and into the area either to be loaded with logs again for construction or or from the actual mine itself so we'll lower that back down and we'll head down back down there and actually unhook it and sort it back up as a minecart so now we're at the bottom you can see we've spilled a few a few logs and we can actually just start clipping off these strands and turning it back into an actual minecart itself and with a little shove like so it drops back onto the minecart track and we probably need to tidy that mess up at all and then we can just begin hooking it up at this end to the actual winches that we have in the forest over there. I'll do that in a second. So we've just hooked the minecart up now from the bottom of the crane area and we're going to crank on this and just bring it towards us I think. So we need to be a little bit careful make sure it actually gets back in the guidelines. Uh, there we go, minecart's coming out nice and smoothly. A little bit of thudding but if we made that bucket a little bit bigger I think we could actually get it a lot better in place. So we can pull that out there, we could load it up with something else. There's a few early minecart concepts that went a little bit too wrong. I found out with this rail sort of system that 
if you pulled it too hard it would push the actual back of the cart up so that's why we've got an upper rail and we also have a lower rail and we've got these as sort of guidelines here for it to actually slide along and not go off course either side just an interesting thing that I was having to mess around with so hopefully you enjoyed this little experiment today I had a bit of a mess around with the mine carts it took me quite a bit of time to actually understand why the wheels were not working and how I just wanted a really simple wheel mine cart but after I got over that issue it just started to come to life and hopefully it provided you with a little bit of inspiration as well as when it actually comes to moving logistical sort of supplies into your castle and if you decide to have your castle in a remote sort of hilltop location or in a location that's hard to access hopefully it'll give you some interesting ideas on how you could pull off such a logistical effort anyway thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs>